Archive is a collaboration project with the world-renowned La Mama Experimental Theatre Club in New York City to enhance visitors' immersive experience in La Mama Archive with augmented reality. La Mama began in 1961 and is now 61 years later has uh, expanded to include four theaters, seven floor rehearsal space, uh, an archive and a gallery, all representing the new and emerging artists in the American culture as well as all of the foreign cultures that have been taking part in representations here in the United States. The archive itself is a static experience and we wanted to utilize those and bring those back to life somehow. Augmented reality allows us to do that in kind of a multi-dimensional way where we can maybe bring up a movie, how that artifact was used, or actually virtually pick up with the artifact and interact with it. AR could be really uh, enhancing those guest experience because, you know, first of all, like AR is such a new technology, you don't really get to do those type of AR experience when you go to uh, the museum. For the web AR, the user do not need to download any applications. They just need to scan a QR code and start the AR experience in the web browser. It is really convenient and we believe that it is the future trend of the AR applications. The Local 7 Pink Puppet is now displayed in the La Mama Theatre Archive Puppet Room where hundreds of puppets are well preserved. To give visitors the opportunity to wear the puppets themselves and learn more about the original shows in a fun way, we decided to use Web AR body tracking technology. The masks on display in the La Mama Archive were used to represent the animals in the Navajo creation myths in the original production. However, the user cannot touch them or wear them in the La Mama archive. Therefore, we create an AR experience to provide the user a chance to try on those virtual masks and become the performer in the show. The user can also take a selfie and share it on the social media, which is a really good way to attract more visitors. Lama Revision is a great example of applying AR experience to narrative design. After understanding its story, I used the butterfly element as the core content of the whole experience and let the audience experience the whole story from the perspective of the protagonist through the simple interaction forms of catching butterfly. Well, this is my first experience with um, anyone actually building this kind of project from scratch, so uh, it's been really interesting to follow along and see what you've been developing. I think my favorite sort of experience so far has been the um, Carmilla bench. Carmilla's action takes place exclusively on this red velvet bench. It's actually the only prop on the stage. And there are three faces painted in the same color as the bench. They are the actors of the chorus. We want to use AR to bring the bench back to life and tell the interactive story of Camilla. But the other thing that I'm excited about in particular because it's not actually in the archive, it's in the lobby upstairs to the Ellen Stewart Theatre is the collage because that not only will, you know, give people a lot of interesting information about the collage itself and the photographs and the productions involved, but it'll let people know that the archive even exists in the first place, which is something that we're always working to try and expand awareness that this collection is here and that people are able to access it. I've been part of a lot of really successful projects at the ETC as an advisor. The La Mama Theatre Archive project is probably one of the highlights of my experiences here.